Starting on a new page feels better every time. Flip a simple waking up next to you. Hi guys, so I was about to film a video and then I realized that I never showed you guys what I got for Christmas. Please ignore um, my bag wall right now. It's an utter disaster. I was putting stuff away because at least for me when you're Chinese, I feel like maybe just all Asians in general, you kind of do like a deep cleaning for the new year and stuff like that. And I already like clean clean, like I washed all my bed sheets and vacuumed and stuff, but I was actually like putting stuff away. And I thought I would show you guys a couple things that I got for Christmas. I did get a couple other like smaller things, but these were kind of like the big things. So I thought I would show you guys Okay, 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 so obviously there's this bit and then at the end of this I'm gonna show you other things that I got It's just I put majority of the stuff away The clip after this is gonna be like on Christmas morning the stuff that I got as well So this is just gonna be from basically almost everyone in no particular order So one of the first things I got was the Pony and Morphe collab I honestly am not really a Morphe person i tried their jacqueline hill that big face palette and i really didn't like it i returned it but i love pony so much if you don't know her uh highly recommend i'm gonna put her youtube channel down below but most likely you have just the palette oh my gosh it's so pretty and this is so freaking big the only thing i wish is that there was a mirror in here but i get why there's not it kind of goes with the theme but do you see this color story it's so wearable like extremely so and there's these like cool little pigment things right over here they're kind of like oop, cream shadows or whatever but i've actually been using this every single day since i've got it i absolutely love this it's just the only annoying thing is because it's so big i wish there was a mirror in here so i have to like carry two things at once but i love this palette next thing i got i guess with the makeup theme i also got the charlotte tilbury bigger brighter eyes it's like the exaggerized thing I actually want to get more Charlotte Tilbury quads, it's just really expensive so it's nice like when my friends gift this to me so that I don't <laughs> I don't have to buy it myself uh, The next Charlotte Tilbury palette I really really want is the Pillow Talk palette I've been wanting that palette <laughs> for no joke since it came out but I just can't justify spending $50 on a quad so it would be nice if someone could just buy it for me uh, but this one's this one, I actually really wanted this one too so I'm really happy I got this I think this is definitely going to be in my everyday uh, arsenal so excited i know like people don't really care about eyeshadow palettes anymore just because everyone has like every single eyeshadow palette but this one and i definitely want the pill talk palette like i want that one so bad <laughs> anyways okay next um some of the things obviously it's been like a couple days after christmas i opened them already but i got the new ipad mini so obviously i have the case already but i love the packaging with, do you guys see how it's like purple? So I did get the purple one um, But yes, I already bought the case for it Which is super cute Oh wait, I don't have my phone on me because it's charging But it's like this slate But you know what's cool? One, about the iPad mini I am not a tech person at all But it finally, they brought back the Touch ID So you can open it by like holding it like this Oh, sorry um, But yeah, so the button up here has the touch id which i absolutely love and then there's the camera feature on this when you're facetiming somebody let's say i put my ipad right here and i'm moving around the camera actually follows me which i think is the coolest thing ever i have a regular ipad where is it oh i don't know okay oh it's on my desk but yeah this is significantly smaller which i love in a door so this could actually fit in one of my purses that i'm going to be doing a video about soon i absolutely love this oh and then like i said i did get the purple one just if you guys want to see i'll take it out of the case and i already put a screen protector on this too but do you guys see how it's like purple it's like a slate blue purple it's really really pretty so yeah i was really really happy that i got this i've been wanting the ipad mini for a while and like luckily I got the new one so I just kept the box okay so the next thing I don't know where I put the box but I did get the new series is it 7? series 7 Apple Watch I got it in Starlight if you guys want to see the hardware on it super pretty I was wearing it earlier but then obviously I had to wash my face and stuff I'm actually not a huge tech person even though I did get quite a few tech items 
it's just it's, it's not that i'm anti-tech i'm just not like super into tech like when the new apple watch comes out i'm not like oh my god i need to have it but yeah i'm really happy that my dad got this for me so that was really really nice of him another thing that i got uh are these Ugg booties, they are the Numel boots I've actually been wanting these for like two years But I just couldn't bring myself to buy them Not even because of the price, honestly It's because, I'm gonna admit it So when I was in high school, Uggs were huge And then as the years have gone by Like they weren't as popular And then for some godforsaken reason uh, Uggs like came back like in the last six months Which is like great for me Because I've been wanting these for so long But with Ugg boots, I actually think that they run big Even though if you go on the website It says if you're a half size, you should size up but for some like with the moccasins because i have two pairs of ugg moccasins i do recommend sizing up for those but i again like i said i'm a five and a half and then these are a six so i think the five would actually fit better for me so yeah but like how cute i actually want to buy another pair of these um in black but yes love those oh and then um i also got a new pair of white vans these are super boring but i just if you guys know me I only wear white shoes in all honesty unless they're like boots but we're talking about like shoes like everyday shoes they're all white white converse maybe i'll do like a white shoe collection video in another vlog because i need you guys to understand how much i love white shoes so i can never have enough white vans or anything but there's that oh i did get a pop socket if you guys know me i have a pop socket for every single freaking phone case i probably have like four pop sockets on cases on deck i'll probably show you guys that later too i love pop sockets like i'm so obsessed almost done a couple more things so if you guys couldn't tell by now from when you guys check my description bar aloe is literally my favorite like athleisure brand i do like lulu but aloe is my favorite just because like the fabric is so soft part of their aloe Lux line so i got um this is actually my second set this is like the cropped aloe Lux henley and I got the matching shorts for it. It's like the dusty rose color. And I actually have this exact set, but in the green color that I bought. The green one I bought myself uh, during Black Friday. And then this one was a Christmas present. It's so freaking soft. I highly, highly recommend. It's so cute. I'll put a picture of it like somewhere here just so you guys can see what it looks like on the model. Amazing. So amazing. And then this is also one of my favorite things from Aloe. It's their Soho sweater. I have this in like three colors three other colors so this is this slate color and then i also got a matching scrunchie look how big this scrunchie is my hair is really thin too but i just i can't get over how big this scrunchie is and if you can see the material it's actually like a velvety material and it matches and then last but not least i did get these shorts from aloe they're famous biker shorts uh, be careful though because aloe has two different types of the black biker shorts There's this material which is like the really soft like kind of similar to a line like lulu a line fabric And then they have their more what is that is it called? Mm, I don't know. It's like that shiny like actual like workout material I don't like that one. I think that one's a little bit more rough. This one is so soft so flattering. I love it but Yeah, it's their signature biker shorts and then actually, the last thing um, that my best friend got for me, oh my god, sitting like this hurts. Um, so like I said, I got the aloe set, right, which is so funny because I bought my best friend this top in black because I loved it so much. And then she actually bought me the matching shorts, but in blue quartz. So she actually bought me these shorts. So the shade that she got me is blue quartz. But obviously this one is like the dusty rose and then I have the green one too. But I just thought it matched my tie-dye. So, yes. <laughs> and then the last two things. Okay, well one thing that I don't have with me right now. But my mom did buy me the Dyson Airwrap. Uh, the one that she bought is on back order. So I don't have it with me. But you best believe when I finally get it. I'll definitely film it and talk about it. Because I've been wanting the Dyson hair wrap. If you guys follow me on Instagram. I was on a mission to buy it for myself. And that was super big fail. I drove literally for like 4 hours. Trying to find it. And I didn't get it. 
but uh, my mom felt bad for me <laughs> so she ended up buying it for me but they did get back ordered so the last thing oh, two more things so this is the second last thing so i got new carrie loha sheets if you guys again follow me you know i love carrie loha i honestly to admit it started liking them because whitney simmons recommended it and then i tried it and then i fell in love ever since i probably have like four sets of carrie loha sheets well now i have five um so my mom also got me the queen set and the duvet set so obviously these boxes are empty you guys can see that Ooh, they're actually they're on my bed right now if you guys want to see this carry loha sheets <laughs> and then last but not least so my dad did get me a cartier piece if you guys follow me on instagram i did show this briefly so it's actually my first love piece that's mine um this is not really an unboxing because uh, i opened everything already but I'll just show you oh so cute so yes so i got the wedding band in size five is my ring size so i bought it to wear on my right well, it's not my wedding finger, but the right one. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I actually have very small hands. I wish I had another person in here so you guys can see how small my hands are. But just kind of like for size reference, this is a Charlotte Tilbury quad and this is how small my hand is. I have very small hands. I tried on their original one and I mean, I do want to get one just just to like have the original love ring and not the wedding band. But for me to stack them, I think the wedding band will look better because I definitely do want to get like two more to stack them i think maybe i'll probably get one of each because obviously gold rose gold and then the white gold and then i think probably i'll just get the regular one with maybe like diamonds in it uh for like my middle finger or something like that but for stacking purposes i think i want to get wedding bands just because if you see my hand in real life i do have very very small hands extremely so but yeah i was so happy uh when i opened it uh, it was just i was so happy like i was squealing it was pretty it was pretty funny i was extremely extremely excited super blessed and grateful that my dad got this for me and i feel like it means more too that like my dad got it for me because he's kind of like like the first man like i ever loved and that ever loved me so i feel like there's just a, like a lot of significance to that so that was really really sweet yes so i did get a couple other things but honestly i don't know where i put them but yes so thank you to everyone that got me a christmas present thank you so much uh yes i hope you guys enjoyed this little segment now if you guys want to see the rest of the things that i got i'm going to flip the clip now okay guys so actually we've been doing a quick impromptu little showing just because i don't want to sit down and set up everything so first i got the morphe and ariel brush set i've really been wanting this when it first got released it actually sold out i actually did get some earrings from Majuri, which i am wearing i will insert a picture of the ones that i'm wearing it's basically kind of the thicker small hoops i've been wanting it for a while so they're 14 karat gold so i never ever have to take them off i also got the sky face set by sonia g which i've actually been wanting for over a year but every single time they restock they sell out almost immediately and i'm like when they restock i need like a day or two to decide to splurge so yeah i finally got these so i'm really really excited the main brush that i was really excited about is this one because it's very similar to the su suku suku oh i think it's suku yeah their cheek brush that's like a hundred dollars so i'm really happy with this then i got the new youth to the people super berry dream cleansing balm which i'm really excited to try because the pharmacy one that i have is actually almost out so this is perfect and then, oh, this is part of the Majuri stuff. Hold on, let me just put this inside. Okay. And then, as you guys can see, I got stuff from M Cosmetics too. Let me just show you. So, oh, they put makeup in here. So, I really wanted this blush from Rare Beauty. It's the shade Bliss. I got the mini like sample size in that trio set that I bought during the VIB sale. And I loved it so much that I wanted the full size for sure. I can show you what this looks like. Hold on. So, this is the color. It's really, really pretty. After that, I got the... 
M Cosmetics, their dewy eyeshadow. It is exciting. Oh wow, it's a lot bigger than I suspected it. Ooh, so pretty. And then you open it like this. I don't want to swatch it because my hands are kind of dirty, but... Ah, it's like an eyeshadow topper. And then my all-time favorite lip balms are actually the lip cushions by M Cosmetics. Look, guys, I got every single shade. So I, this is gonna be my fourth one of the clear quartz. I have three of these on deck right now. I have Magic Hour, which is actually my favorite like shade. And then I also have Angeli. But now I finally have Faded Clementine, Mystique, and Venetian Rose. These are my all-time favorite lip cushions or just lip balms in general. And then it came with this cool like silicone pouch. Thank you, sir. And then I also got my newest favorite aloe set. It's kind of, it's, I think it's called like the Soho sweater. What is this called? No, it's the Crop Henley, but anything in the Aloe Luxe line is my favorite. I think this shade is called Desert Rose. I have this in the green color and it's, oh, it's so comfortable and so, so flattering. So I got this. And then I actually needed a new pair of slides because I have Adidas slides that I've used for like four years. And so I finally got these ones. Look how small they look. They're so little and they're so cute. And then lastly is this. Yeah, I was really surprised that I got these. I've been really wanting them. And look, so they're kind of like this off-white beige color. And then do you guys see how the rubberized part is kind of like shiny? So super cute, super cute. It's weird though, like Converse sizes. So I'm a size four in men's, which usually means a size five and a half in women's, which is my shoe size. But this is a four in men's, but a six in women's. So it is a touch too big, but this is the smallest size they have. So I'm just going to make it work. But yes, these are all my keeps. Hi guys. Okay, so just letting you know, my makeup is a mess. Uh, I was wearing a mask all day. I just got back from work. Well, I got back from work like uh, like almost an hour and a half ago, but I came home and there was a package and I wanted to film like an instant reaction. I have no idea what's inside, but the address is from Costa Mesa. So I thought I would open it on camera. Uh, if it's like nothing, then well, well, we'll be disappointed together. But yes, I'm assuming it's from my SA, but I don't know. I'm holding my camera like this because my, my room is uh, extremely messy right now. Like extremely so. It's like disgustingly messy and I, you guys don't need to see that. I'm literally, all the mess is like behind this camera. I thought we would open it together. Let me just put it like this. Okay. So I come home and I get this box and first I was like, I'm done Christmas shopping and I haven't ordered anything else. I was like, what the heck? Like, what is this? And then I see the address. It's for um, the Dior store. And I was like, what the heck? So the last time I was in the store was um, I went uh, last week, not even last week. I went the day, was it Christmas Eve or the day before Christmas Eve. It was either Christmas Eve or the day before Christmas Eve. But yeah, I just went in there just to say hi and Merry Christmas to my SA and I just got him like a little gift. Uh, it was like this inside joke between us. Well, not inside joke, but when I first met him ever, he told me how he didn't like coffee or tea and obviously I'm Asian, so I love the anti. <laughs> but yeah, so I just got him like a tiny like Christmas gift just because he's been so cool. So, okay. This is literally a first impressions. There could be nothing in here. Okay. <gasps> what? What? Oh my gosh. Okay, so as you guys know, I've been on a no buy and I haven't bought in anything, but which made me really sad because the Dior packaging is so pretty this year. Like last year, it was this kind of like blue um and red thing but this year if you guys saw in my previous shopping vlog they had this uh dior oblique like gold embroidered bag and i thought it was just so pretty and i see everybody doing unboxings oh my gosh this is so pretty look at this packaging this is literally the most exquisite packaging of life do you see like the shift oh my gosh it's so pretty what the heck Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. 
yeah, I was like really low key disappointed that I wouldn't be able to get anything in the Dior packaging because I, I was like this close of just buying a random SLG just so I can get something in this packaging. I honestly still might do it. I don't know. That's crazy. I know. Okay, guys, after me taking a bajillion pictures of this, I'm going to open it on camera. Hopefully, it's focused. My favorite bit is the freaking gold. Do you see that? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty like the butterflies. Oh wait, how do I do like this? Oh my god, okay. So let's just open this. Hopefully it stays in focus. This has to be my favorite Dior packaging ever. If they honestly still have these boxes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy something. There's two SLGs that I want. I'll just buy one of them. But oh my god. I'm weak. Okay. Honestly, even if this box is empty, I really don't care because this box alone, this box alone, it like means so much to me. Okay. Oh, oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. Sorry. Hold on. Should I do it like this? <laughs> What? Oh my gosh, that's sick. Look, oh my gosh, he got me a little Dior tumbler. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. What the heck? Oh my gosh, and it literally even says Dior on the top. Okay, you guys can't see, but right here, I'll put like a picture. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking cute. We got each other tumblers. I'm dead. That's so cute. I'm, so oh my gosh, oh my god, so cute. But the box, guys, literally this freaking box. And I even love how the tissue, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the tissue is actually like gold slash like off-white. It's not white tissue paper that they normally use. It's like beigey, which is super cute. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna, I'm weak. I'm freaking weak. Oh my gosh. So uh, uh, my essay is the cutest little man. Cutest little man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna end this vlog here. I don't even know where I'm gonna put this clip, but I will post this. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for keeping up with me during 2021. I know I've been awful on uploading. Hopefully 2022 will be a lot better. More luxury content. I mean, not a lot of shopping, let's be honest. We're trying to... There's other things I want to buy now. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for supporting me. I'll probably try to do more vlogs. So at least maybe like a buy bi-monthly vlog do you say bi-weekly bi-weekly does that mean twice a week or every two weeks bi-weekly okay well anyways i'll try to do at least one daily vlog every two weeks but as always thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this little video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps support my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys happy new year